Good evening, everybody. Let's start with college basketball. Over the last 20 years, the Indian Hills basketball team has produced 10 first team All-Americans. But until this year, no one has been named first team All-American two years in a row until Jameel McKay earned that honor. And boy, did he. He averaged 18 points and 11 rebounds a game, and he scored in double figures in 59 of his 63 games. It feels good it, um, to know that I'm the first ever to be named two times in a row. It, it brings chills to my heart because this is one of the winningest programs of all time as far as basketball. A lot of banners, a lot of great history here. And to know that I stand alone as far as being a two-time All-American is great. Good luck at Marquette. In high school baseball, Kirksville was hosting Hannibal. It was a pitcher's duel through the first five innings of play between Preston Miller of Kirksville, who had a lot of ground ball outs as he threw strikes early and often entrusted his defense. And Dalton Overstreet of Hannibal, the Tigers. Gunner Western gets on board with one that just goes over Overstreet's glove. Joe Bronner will get robbed on this great play in center field. We will have the final for you tonight on the Light Sports. One of the best track meets in the state of Iowa is tonight as it's the Davis County Relays. Once again, the Davis County girls will be strong. We, we have record numbers out this season. Um, last year we had a pretty good sized team with 29 athletes. This year we have 46 athletes. We actually had to order more uniforms. Usually uh, when you have a big team you can kind of find the talent and develop the talent. Um, so we're expecting a big season. The girls are pretty positive and working hard. We'll have highlights on the late sports. Spring football continues at Truman State. The Bulldogs spring game is April the 27th. One thing that will not change when the Bulldogs move to the Great Lakes Valley Conference is they still want to move the ball on the ground. Garrett White, who gained 585 yards last year, will lead the way, but there is still a stable of young and talented running backs that are looking to make a name for themselves. When we took the red shirt off of A.J. Hartfield, you saw him a little bit from Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, uh, we've got Chris Jackson from over in Macomb, Illinois, who ran for over 2,000 yards uh, over there his senior year, and then Jesse Jenkins from San Antonio, Texas. And Trey Millender is going to stick around with a medical hardship.